Well, welcome. Well, good evening, everybody. Um, if you don't know who I am, my name's Kevin, and tonight I'm doing a, well, this will be another practice for me, live stream, and tonight I thought I'd do like a little edit, a little uh, DaVinci Resolve edit of some footage that I had, and show you how that stuff works. I like to make videos with uh, DaVinci Resolve, if you're not familiar with that program. It's a video editor made by Black Magic. Black Magic is a company who makes cameras and video equipment, and they started out making color, color like Photoshop and things like that. So their their product was all about that, and they acquired some different companies. I'm not going to give like a history lesson of them, but they created a product that makes videos. Matter of fact, one of their recent movies out was uh, Jungle Book with The Rock. And Fast and Furious, one of those recent ones. And there's there's been a couple other recent ones. I think Avatar, a long time ago, was made using the DaVinci Resolve software. It's really cool stuff. It's um, it's not super user-friendly when you just jump in. If you've used an editor before, then it'll make some sense. But there's a learning curve. There's quite a learning curve to it. But wow, once you get into it, there's not much of a limit of what you can't do. And they have two versions. They have a free version and a paid version. And I started out with the paid version. I mean, I started out with a free version and used that for quite a while and eventually upgraded to the the paid version because it works with your computer more smoothly. It's like anything free. There's always a, a drawback. All the features are there um, that you can use. There's a couple high-end features that you don't get in the free version, um, but you do get... Uh, a couple extra things, and it works with your graphics card if you get the paid studio version. And when I got that, I actually got the um, speed editor. There's a little product that comes with it. It's a little keyboard. I'll show you here. Screen, as I, as I spin this dial around, you can... Fast forward, back and forth. Um, just just some of the cool stuff that you can do. That's just kind of the beginning. So when you're into quick and getting things done, um, there you go. Well, good evening there, Deb. Thanks for stopping by <laughs> for my craziness. I'm hoping that tonight it's a little bit better, or actually a lot better than last time. I've made some improvements in the video quality and the audio. There were some things that I thought were actually looking better the first time, <laughs> and they weren't. I played it back, and I, that was kind of cringeworthy there, for sure. Well, it's good to uh, to have you on board here. It's not going to be a super long one, because it might be boring to a lot of people, but I thought I'd do a quick uh, presentation of, of how this stuff works. It's pretty exciting. I can't wait to do some other videos on my on my other channels. This is a fun channel for me, the Kevin channel, and I can do all kinds of different things. And, you know, nobody cares. So <laughs> I really get to enjoy that. And I get to share fun things that uh, I get to experience. Well, good evening, Brittany in the house tonight. Thanks for uh, stopping by and watching. Well, let's see, I was, uh, I was describing the DaVinci program. Uh, I can, what I'm going to do is probably switch over and uh, I'll be showing you some of the screen here. Um, different things that I can edit, different, uh, you know, different screens that you go through in DaVinci. I'm not going to go through a big tutorial, but just show you what it takes to take a video and parse it together to make something out of it. If you take footage from your phone, um, different cameras you might have, multiple cameras, um, audio, things like that. You have to take all that together, throw them in a bucket, grind it up, and it comes out. So, uh, I am going to uh, switch over and show you some of that. Well, good evening, uh, Mr. Truck Plug. Look at you go. Thanks for uh, checking this out. Hope the audio is sounding good for you guys. I have a couple different monitors that I look at. <laughs> it's a little, it's a little weird. If you ever, if you think being in front of a camera is weird, be in front of a camera with uh, six different monitors of yourself and you're talking. <laughs> it's a little strange, but it's fun. All right, well, I'm going to start off here with, um, I'm going to switch over to the screen, and I'm, I'm going to be on it for a while, unless you guys find that it's uh, 
uh, too creepy. <laughs> Um, this is some footage I took, and I'm, I'm just going to go through with the uh, the edit of the pocket, too. I've, this is just one of the cameras that I used. And I took some footage here. I'm going to slide the screen up. I won't describe a lot of what I'm doing, I guess, because you guys really won't care. Um, there are a bunch of footage that's just kind of uh, listed in a row. And as I click on them, there might be a delay, so I should just slow down. As I click on these, you can see what's what's there. And up in this window... I wonder if I've still got this on here. I don't have the uh, icon thingy, darn it. There's an icon that thing that highlights the icon where I'm at and what I'm doing. I guess it doesn't matter because you're not really following along. This is just more to show you what's going on. So for example, here's a clip um, of some friends that some people know on the channel here that are watching tonight. And I can take my mouse and click on this beginning of the clip. Now that you've seen a list of files that are here, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so we can see what's going on. Maybe I'll just take me out of the frame so you guys can see uh, what's going on. I can take my mouse and I scroll through and it's 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 funny how <laughs> the things you learn not to do when you're filming, you know, you're getting ready and you're aiming this way and you're aiming that way and um, you have to cut that stuff out or you just skip it later on. It's even worse with the drone. I discovered uh, I've learned an awful lot by doing this. Uh, you feel, you find out what what you shouldn't do and and what works best to speed up the process. All right, let me go back to the screen here. And so I'm going through some footage. Oh, there's my boy. And I'm just going to play this through. So I, I hit the play button, and that's scrolling through. And this is where I want. This is kind of a cool shot right here. So. I'm going to go back. I rewind it a little bit. And I'm going to start it right about there, and I'm going to mark it. There's a little mark here. I can hit I to mark the end point of um, the video. Let me switch myself here because I'm very animated, and so, you know, it's probably good to, to do that. So I'm marking the first end point of this, and I'll scroll through it some more. Uh, play through it. I can fast forward right about to there is where I want, maybe. Right about there. So right at the end, I'm going to stop that, hit an out point. And I hit the letter P. And what that actually did is if I go to this screen, it would add it to the timeline. So if I'm over here, and I'm, I'm on this clip here, this is the clip I think that we just used. And I, I drag this clip from here to here. This gives me like a, a working spot. Like this gives me a work area to work from. And the area on this side of the screen here, this is where you're taking what you want and popping it over there. So you can see here that I've highlighted the beginning of where I want this video to begin and where the end is. And so if I hit the letter P where I'm on this, it copied that directly over to my timeline. And now you can see at the bottom, this is where it adds to it. So let's pick another clip. I'm gonna pick one. I just double clicked on it and it brought this um, footage over to here and it's got some other in and out marks on it. And I'm just scrolling through it, you can see uh, Obviously, I wasn't paying attention or, or just getting ready. Sometimes sometimes you have to hit record and, and have it ready and then aim on where you want it to go to get that shot. So I'm going to get right about here where, where these guys start to come into frame. That might pan out to be something. So I go in. I can fast forward. You know, if I don't want to just play it, I can just use my mouse and zip right to where I want it to go. And I'm going to go to right about there where she ends off. I'm probably getting a little carried away. I should slow down. I get all excited with this stuff. I hit letter P, and now I've got two clips in there. Let's go to another one. Let's go to this one. I don't know what it is yet. Um, we're going to drag this through. And, oh, here's another cool motorcycle shot. Let's get that one right about there. I'm going to hit in, scroll this down to this one. And with my mouse, I'm just picking, uh, yeah, let's go right about to there. And I hit out and hit P. So now I've got these, down here I've got these clips. These are the clips that I've selected so far, these three. Now if I enlarge these, you'll be able to see some, maybe some video as I scroll through. I don't have this showing me, but I can come over here and add to it, and it will show me what's in the footage, right? So it's, if I get rid of the distracting one, because you guys are going, oh, what the heck? If I start in the beginning here and I go through this, bam, right? So I may I may want to just go, um, 
Let's put this one first. Let's let's add this one. I'm going to switch this to the beginning. I just moved it over to the beginning. We got this one here, and bam, here's a motorcycle getting ready, and this one's also getting ready. Let's let's put those. I'm going to take this one to the end because it just seems to make more sense for this little story we're going to make. Um, let's see here. I forget to. Um, I forget to look at the chat. I've got a chat right there, and I'm taking a look at that. So I've got this short little edit. So we've got, we're up to 12 seconds. Can you imagine? <sighs> All that for 12 seconds. But that's cool. We didn't do a whole bunch of stuff just yet. We didn't go crazy or anything. Uh, we just kind of laid that out. So I'm going to do a little transition. We're going to do some transitions to this. Let's switch back over to the screen. Um Right here where this clip gets jointed, it's kind of awkward, right? We're just, we're seeing this happen and it's going down to that motorcycle. So I'm going to come up to this top screen and pick some transitions from the effects library. Up in this area are the effects and I'm gonna do video transitions. These are the one, these are where you can take videos, do different things uh, to transition them off to something else. We can, we can do, for example, I can drag, I, I just select this and I drag it down and let it go. And now, when this thing transitions over, if I do this full screen, um, Control F, and I play this, look at that. It just transitions over to that. Well, that's well, that's okay. It's not a really cool one. So let's go through and um, we'll pick one of these. There's going to be something down here. How about a tunnel of light? We'll pick that one, and we'll do a little transition here. Whoa. That was crazy. Let's make it a little bigger and see what happens. Oh, yeah. So let's do that in full screen so I can show you that. And bam, that's kind of weird, right? Crazy. It's not It's not the only thing you can do, but just, uh, you know, there you go. It's one of those things where you can do um, many different things. That comes out, and then we've got a little transition here. Just we transition over to this. So let's do a slide over. We can we can check this out. Let's say I put the playhead. It's called a little playhead where it's actually playing through the video. Um, I forgot to switch back over. Sorry about that. Um, since the playhead's here right in the middle, right where these two clips switch over, I can come over and take my mouse over to this section and see which one I want. I can go, well, okay, that's kind of cool. I can do this one, or I can say, uh, let's try this down here. Maybe a rotation. Oh, now that's cool. I like that one. Let's do that. So we're going to drop this on here, and let's extend that out. Oop, I'm grabbing the right. So if I zoom in, I was grabbing the wrong part of the video. Drag this out, and off you go. And zoom. That wasn't slow enough. I wanted this to be slow. So let's slow that down. Okay. Yeah. It's something. It's is it the end all? No. Is it something that's cool, maybe? Yeah. Let's see. Um, in the end. So now we've got a 12 second video. 13 seconds, actually, because I extended the length. Now we're gonna add some music to this. Let's let's add a little bit of a music and we will go back to. Um, we'll get rid of the effects library and go to the media pool. In the media pool, which is this area over here, I've got some background music. And we can pick different ones, so I'm just going to double click on it. Eh, I'm not sure if that's playing real loud. I have it turned down to somewhat. I'm not sure if it's playing loud to you. If it's too loud to me, it kind of feeds back in, so I need to experiment with that. Eh, that sounds kind of cool. Let's try the next one. That'd be interesting. All right, so we're going to grab this music and drag it down here to this audio track. What's interesting is, if you've never done this before, you've got all kinds of video tracks and audio tracks. They just They just grow, right? So they go taller, and you can see the... Right down here is the actual audio of actually something's going on. Now, since this is a short video, we want to we don't have a lot of blank space to put up with. We need to actually get this. Oh, now I just made a mistake. So 
what's really cool about this, I could have made a huge mistake. I could have deleted the whole thing. If I do control Z, it repairs what I just broke. So for example, and ask me how I know, if I highlighted something, I thought I highlighted something and I just hit delete, <laughs> look at the other monitor, it's all gone. But this is so awesome because you just hit control Z, it undoes, makes it undone, whatever you just did. And that's a cool feature. All right, so anyway, not to bore with that, but that's what's fun about being creative with this is you don't have to be afraid about making mistakes. I've I've gone through some videos where I've actually had the audio unaligned. You you go through and you you um you remove things, you slide things, you organize, and you find out that you've got all the talking, someone's voice is off by 30 seconds. And it was 20 changes ago. So you've got a luckily you can recover from that. And that's really awesome. There's so many ways you can do that. All right, let's take a listen to see what we got here. Um, this is our music track so far, and I'm just going to get rid of this. So now I've trimmed uh, mu the music down, and we're going to shorten it a little bit. All right, wait till I play it. Now I'm hoping this plays for you um, in the background, if it's, if it's not too loud. Here we go. Full blast or full speed. Okay, that wasn't anything too fancy, and it's not to the beat or anything like that yet. It's just some music in there. Um, that's how you would. That's how you get that started. Now you can end it a little bit here at the end. I'm taking the uh, end of the clip and I'm shortening the audio. And in the beginning, we're going to leave that because you can see down here. If I make this bigger, all right? Down in this section here, it starts off. It just kind of ramps up as it goes along, so we don't need to change that. But in the end, it can fade out because that's the end of our, of our little clip that we just made. Now, we also want to fade out the video. So if I come up here to the video and I grab, it's a it's called a handle, but if I grab the handle and I, I pull that back a little bit, that's going to fade it out. And so now when I play it to the end, off it goes. Let's uh, shrink this down so you can see what I just did here. So now we're playing to the end, and bam, that's how you'd fade that out. There are all kinds of different ways to do things, but um, that's just a simple edit of how you would start with editing, how you can be creative and tell a story. It's all about telling a story. What do you want to tell in your video and how do you want to do it? There are tons of things to worry about, like quality of this and quality of that. Did I make a mistake? But, you know, in the end, who cares? Because you're doing it for you and you're making something that hopefully other people will appreciate. And, and we have a lot of forgiveness and tolerance of crummy stuff. So... If you're afraid of doing it, uh, getting into it, I say do it and uh, and have fun doing it because you'll have memories that you'll create from doing this. I'm going to take a look at the chat comments here and see what I've missed. Um, wow, you guys have really written a lot of stuff. You guys are awesome. Thanks for that. <laughs> oh, there you go. So uh, Debbie says it sounds great. Um, Brittany, yep, thank you for that. And... Um, well, yeah, thanks, Ashley. Welcome, Ashley. If I didn't, if I didn't welcome you before, thank you. Yeah, Jaden, Jaden and the dirt bikes, man. Look at that. There's, there's a Raya. I think I've got tons of clips in here of, of, of all the kids running along. Um, oh, <laughs> thanks, thanks, Brittany. Appreciate that. And a shout goes out to a uh, shout out goes out to Zaria. Thanks for watching, Zaria. You are awesome. You're an awesome YouTuber yourself. This is uh, pretty fun. Um, well, let's see. There you go. Any questions on this stuff? I know this is pretty dull, and most of you guys probably don't care. I just wanted to uh, find a way to share something and uh, <laughs> show you show you that. Um, let's see. You know, one, one fun thing I'll share with you here is, uh, is drone footage. I guess I won't tell you to describe where I'm going because, you know, who cares, but... I'll go over here to the drone files and I see a whole bunch of stuff and I'm just going to select that, go back to the edit page, pick my drone things, and we'll see some drone footage, right? Here's some shots that uh, we got. This is kind of a cool thing here. Watch, look at that. We take this down, we see the site and then we fly over that. That's kind of fun. 
Um, oh, we're landing there. I guess that's that's going to end the boring one. Now here's here is the truck plug's Jeep. This is before he got rid of his Jeep, and uh, this is a fun Jeep. He's got a lot of fun Jeeps. We're going to fly away from this one here. That's a kind of a cool shot here, and that would be uh, you could put something like that to music. Take in and out and hit P, and now that adds that to the timeline, so we can add make more uh, changes to that. This is another one. This is probably, uh, oh yeah, oh my gosh, this is a Chris's in this one, I think. Um, let's go back to that one here. This is what's interesting. If you're not sure what, well, it's only interesting, I guess, maybe to me. Yikes. If you take your mouse and you have all these videos lined up in a row, you can put your cursor over here where I'm at and slide it from left to right or right to left, and you go, oh, oh yeah, that's the one I want. So I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to drag this one. Let's see, on the edit page that we are, we're going to go to dual screen, and I'm going to check that out. And, oh, I just lost it. By going there, I forgot where I was. Scrolling back through here. Oh, I have a picture. I have Zariah there. Let's, let's put Zariah on. And here she is. We're coming up over to this, and that's just barely a good one, right? So we don't know what Zariah is saying, and I, I know for a fact that uh, <laughs> we're not going to be able to hear that. So I'm going to go in and go out. It just looks like we're talking to her, which we were. And we're going to find this other one here. I think this is going to be the fun one. Look at that. So there's a tripod in the background. That's great filming. This was really cool. This was, oh, I forget the young man's name. Really fun guy. And he's out there, I think that's his dad, getting getting him ready to go. He loves riding that bike. Let's see if I can go. We'll put an in for this one and then an out right about there, right? So now we've got all this fun stuff here. And then we got Chris riding the motorbike over there, then over to uh, Zariah. This is way fun. Oh, yeah, you can hear that go in the background. That is so fun. So when you hear... When you hear, um, thank you, Travis. Thank you. I, I knew. I knew it. <laughs> when you hear the motorcycle sounds in the background, it is so cool. I'm not sure how loud they are to you, so if they're not too loud, I apologize for that. But down here is the volume, for, so I can actually make that clip louder or quieter, and um, we'll just play through that. Oh yeah, that was so fun. Those guys had an awful lot of time. An awful lot of fun doing that. Let's go because that that just deserves some good music. Let's see what we got here. This could be a good one. So I'm just going to drag this music down here to my timeline and put that right down in here. Now also I'm going to come back to here because we've got, see we have Zariah there. Right before that was Chris and she was uh, tooling along on her little motorbike. Now that's too far away for seeing Chris right there. So I'm going to take the inspector. We have the inspector. You can inspect anything. And from here, look at this. We can zoom in. We're going to zoom in on this. And we can drag it up. We can actually reposition this thing to where we want it. Now, if we go to the beginning of the clip where she was, right? And here we go. And it's not quite zoomed in. We're going to go here. And then I can stop this. And we're going to zoom that even even further. This is going to be really cool. It might be blurry because, you know, I'm taking an image and blowing it up uh, three and a half times. So I've taken that clip and I've zoomed it in a little bit. And then I took another part of it and zoomed it in even more. Let's take a listen and a look to this. I need to turn it up so I can hear it on my end. Ready? Oh, yeah. That's cool. <laughs> it's not even timed yet, but it's got a cool vibe to it. So I hope you can hear that. That was, that was pretty awesome. Anyway, that's, that's what's fun about doing this sort of thing. Um, well, there you go. That's, that is... That's how you do this sort of thing. And of course, you time it a little more. You you take scenes and you find the beat in the music and you time it and you make it even more cool. That's how you do some video creation. 
All right. Well, um, can't hear the music, huh? Can't hear the music. Um, maybe it was too low. Let's try that again. I'm going to turn it up pretty loud, and let me see if I can... I need to look at my other screen over here and see what I've got for a... Oh, oh, you guys aren't getting the music. That that totally blows. Okay. Hang on. I've got it. This this may Okay, how about this? This this may do it. We've got one, two, three. Let's let's try this. Oh, wrong screen here. Hold on. Technical difficulty. All right, that should be better. No, I don't need to put the mic to the speaker. Thank you, Ashley, for that. I can turn it up eternally. Oh, yeah. All right, was that any better? Was that any better? All right, very good. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm still still trying to dial in everything that, you know, the way it needs to be. This is kind of still a practice session. I'm super excited. Um, I think Zariah talked about doing a live streaming with gaming. Oh, man. With my other camera, I could hook that up and we could do some live stream. We can do it with a cell phone through a uh, tablet and, and play back and forth and stuff like that. So I'll have to experiment with Zariah if she wants to do that. That would be awfully fun. Um, I've got my, uh, I wouldn't call it a game deck, but stream deck buttons that I can click on here to go back and forth. So I didn't mean to have you me be so small for that long of time. But that's how that uh, that that's how that is. I'm going to go I'm going to do this full screen without me on it and let's see if this is any better. We're going to start this to the beginning and I'm, I'm hoping that the quality is is okay with the way I do it with the stream. Here we go. Oh, so what we saw there was a gap. There was like a black space. It's right about there. And if I zoom into my little timeline, you can see that we went dark from when a little cage was uh, going out of the frame. This little handle here was making it dark. So now, now we can just transition over to this, but we need another transition. So what do we want to pick? I want to do eh, nothing like that. Probably want to do something like... Oh, that, yeah, let's see what this looks like. This might be kind of crazy. It might have to render, so it could be um, a little bit slow. Let's try this. Yeah, it might have to do it a couple times. Oh, yeah, there we go. So it's it's not totally at the beat. Didn't expect that because I haven't done that part of it yet. Just sliding this stuff here. All right, so now, now that I've got that fixed, we've got the... Um, down there, we edited the, the video and it fixed the gap where it was broken and it put in a camera shake uh, transition. So let's try this at, uh, at full screen again to get me out of here. Oops, got to switch this to that. Oh my gosh, <laughs> that is so cool. Travis is so awesome on that bike. That that was such a look there. Him and uh, Zariah had so much fun doing that sort of thing. That was uh, switching back and forth here. I'm not sure what screen I want to be on. All right, well, that's that was something. It, it's not, is it a fine tune and perfect? No, but it was just something to put together. It kind of gives you an idea of how fun this can be. You can take some footage that someone made for you or make it yourself and kind of put that stuff together. So... That's it there. Um, I should look and see if there's any more questions or if anyone has any questions or just shouting out, saying hi. That's pretty darn awesome. I appreciate that. 
Oh, uh, yep. Yeah, there you go. Thank you, Ashley. That's pretty awesome. Appreciate you guys doing that. Hopefully the, uh, the audio is still good for you there. I've decided that it's going to be better for me to have this microphone in the shot or it ends up being echoey because I'm in a room where it can be real echoey and the farther the microphone is away, the more echoey it becomes. And I think I've got it down to where it's as good as I can get it and I can still see the keyboard and, and do all that stuff. I still need to be able to reach everything and, and get around. So uh, what do you guys think? Um, what do you think about the layout? How is the quality? Is it showing up okay on your screens? Um, audio okay? Things like that. There is a little bit of a delay, so I have to remember to um, to uh, wait for that. I'm not sure what that is. I don't know if it's like on TV. You know, there's that seven-second delay. So I guess they can uh, hit that buzzer or something. I'm not really sure. But there you have it. All right, well, this is exciting. I need I need to have more of a plan for the next ones that I'm doing. Um, but tonight's plan was just to do this. I thought it would be kind of fun to show that. Um, whether it was too interesting or not, I don't know. But it was something. It was something to wait for me to share that with you guys. And uh, maybe I'll even get a guest with me. I'm hoping that the uh, the amazing Christy will uh, want to participate in one of these. This would be kind of fun, except that'd be more of a uh, at a table, a kind of like an interview or just talking about something. She has a lot to share with... Um, Bachelor in Paradise, I think. If any of those, if you watch those, if any of you guys out here watch that, <laughs> she, she's all over that, just like you guys. I don't know much about that. I've I've watched a couple times, and um, you know, I, I haven't. Yeah, I think you have to keep watching it. You have to really invest in it to really know what's happening, or you're just out of it. So, oh, very good. So we got some feedback. Uh, thanks, Ashley, for that. Um, thanks, Deb. Appreciate it. Appreciate you watching that on your uh, on your end. That it's good. That's good to know that. <laughs> and Brittany said it's super weird. Your iPhone is clear on our TV. My phone is blurry. Oh wow. Well, you know what that is. The blurry thing is there are so many things that can go wrong with playback. I've had people tell me on my RV channel that the audio was off like five ten seconds. When you play it, and so what happens is, even though your if your internet is crummy, at the time that you're playing, or there's some sort of lag, you can get pixelated um, looks. The audio can be way off, and so if you stop it, rewind whatever you're watching, and play it again. It even happens on Netflix. I know too, the audio will be off. Almost anything you watch, it's off. So I try to be perfect about getting my audio definitely lined up. But then you watch it back, and you're like, oh my gosh, YouTube just broke it. So I think what goes on is the playbacks on the streams, um, YouTube sh uh, shrinks down the quality depending on the device that you're playing and the time that you're playing it at. And that's why you get the uh, the blurriness on certain devices. I was playing something back yesterday. I talk a lot with my hands. I see, my, I see this guy over here flailing around <laughs> going, oh my gosh, do I do that? I, I'm too much of that. I guess I have to hold still. Hard to hold still when I get all excited about stuff like that. But yes, there's... Um, when you play back stuff, most things on your phone will be 720 or even 360 um, resolution, not 4K or, or 1080p. I'm only streaming at 1080p. Uh, my camera will do 4K, but it's cropped in a lot, and it, it only does it at a, a certain frame rate. It does it at 23, 24 frames a second. And that's What that means is YouTube wants 30 or 60 frames a second. It's just technical stuff, right? So if you're not that way, it becomes all... There's all this stuff to think about. So that might be that might be why. Well, that was that was probably more of an answer than you ever wanted, huh? That's like if Chris asked me a question, she'll say, um, hey, why does this? And I go, uh, <laughs> you just start going, and you could tell the rolly guy, she's like, oh, why did I ask that question? And I'm sure uh, you guys have experienced that as well. All right. Okay, well, that's um, that's pretty good. Um, how long are we going here? Wow, we got 40 minutes already? That's crazy. This has been awfully fun. I could see how I could be, you know, chatty Kathy and go on and on and on. Um, can you guys think of a topic you'd like to talk about? If I do this again, um, what to say that'd be maybe be more entertaining to you guys? I guess the goal isn't to have to be entertaining. Um, I just wanted to share some of this tonight, um, but I could have done, I guess, could have done anything, really. 
and all you have to do is get me talking and I don't shut up is, is proof by this. <laughs> so there you, there you go. All right. Yeah, it's really fun interacting with you guys on the chat. It's a new kind of experience. So I have to look away to do it. I'm try, I try to get my monitor close so I don't have to look too far. And when I need to change scenes, I don't have to go too far away. I can um, click right here. And I can't tell if I'm blurry or not because I get this stuff on my eyes and I can't see. I, I had this, uh, I don't know the exact name. It's a retinal detachment of some sort. And when... Because I saw light on this, not just this flashlight here, or this light. But one morning I got up, I saw these flashing lights on the side of my head. I'm like, what in the world is going on? And I went and saw an ophthalmologist. He's like, oh, yeah, you're getting retinal detachment. You're old. You're falling apart, blah, blah, blah. And so when that stuff breaks away, think of uh, think of a boat in the ocean. And there's some uh, moss growing on the boat, and it gets pulled away. But the moss stays there. Well, that... That crud just floats around in there, and I'll be looking, and all of a sudden, it's like a cloudy day, and I have to, like, ugh, and, and get it out of there. And like, oh, that's much better. There you go. So that's how that works. May. May wants to know, May, you're so awesome, by the way. May wants to know what my favorite food is. Wow. Okay, I would have to say... One of my top favorite foods is going to be orange chicken. <laughs> it was one of my favorite foods to go out and eat. Um, but I do really like, I don't eat it all the time. I do like sushi. Nice tuna rolls for sushi. Yummy. Very yummy. With the, um, the nice green hot sauce. Wasabi. Wasabi is very yummy to me. It's kind of like... Um, when you have steak and you use that, uh, oh, what the heck is that name of that, that the sauce that you put on there? It's not um, coleslaw. It's that nice horseradish. Horseradish has that nice zingy flavor to it. But let's see, what's my other favorite food, May? Chocolate chip cookies. Absolutely. Thank you for that question. Yeah, a podcast would be fun, right? But there's some planning that goes into that, and you have to have a topic. But I would love to do that. Well, obviously, I'm a yacker here, and so that would be kind of fun. You know it would be fun to do? It would be fun to sit down and have a podcast with the truck plug. Oh, yeah, he's got stories, and he'd be fun to talk with. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, Jay, you want to come to our house. That would be fun to do. I think you're going to get to do that this weekend. And we're going to come to your house. And that's going to be an awful lot of fun. So I hope you're looking forward to that. Yeah, wasabi peanuts, Ashley. That's, uh, those are pretty gross, actually. <laughs> but I remember you, you got to eat those. I don't remember if Brittany had those or not. Yeah. Yep, yep, absolutely. Yeah, well, anybody else that's lurking out there, feel free to say hi. Introduce yourself or just uh, join in the chat and say hello. It's fun to uh, see who's out there and say hi to you. This is awfully fun. Let's see. So I got, I, I guess I got away from my little editing thing huh, there. That, that was, that was what it was. I guess I should switch over to this. That other background is kind of boring. What do you think of that versus this one? I kind of like this one. It gives some texture to the back. Um, I like that. That's kind of fun. And I guess if I'm feeling, uh, if I'm feeling crazy, well, well, howdy, Mr. B. Howdy, Mahowdy. Absolutely. Let's go to this one here. And then uh, there you go. That that might be more of uh, the vibe for what I'm thinking there. I love the outdoors. We didn't get to go to this one this year. This was Skyline Ridge. This was, this was an awful lot of fun. I remember that. This is where we went and we played those, those things where you flick them up in the air. That was really fun. Hope Mr. B is doing good. Hope you had a, a good day today. You must be getting off work. Well, that's actually, it's probably a little late for him. Maybe you just got done eating. Fantastic. Yeah, 20 peanuts for $20. Weren't you the lucky one, Ashley? <laughs> you got paid for that. Yeah, that's a good question. 
Deb, thanks for asking. That's that's a great question. I'm not very I'm not very observant sometimes. Deb wants to know. This is your aunt Debbie. She wants to know what your favorite food is, May. If your mom didn't already ask you. <laughs> 70. No, no. I'm I'm following I'm following Dale. I'm following Uncle Dale. So he's the elder, so I've I've got a ways to go before I reach that. That would be fun, huh? Make a little birthday background. Huh. I'll have to do that. That'd be a fun thing to do. Well, so May's um Favorite food is chocolate donuts. Chocolate donuts are great. Those are yummy. Um, what is it? What's that one company that does um, the green logo? I can't think of the name of them. They're really soft and warm. We have one of those, not a factory, but they make them at the plant that's nearby here. Mm, that donut place. I can't think of the name of them. Gosh darn it. It's that late in the day. My brain's going a mile a minute. Yes, those are yummy donuts are. There's that Cowboys donuts too. That's not too uh that's not too far away. Those are fun. Well, let's let's also ask the question, what is Deb's favorite food? That's a good one to ask. What does Debbie like to eat? Let's see if she picks something that uh, Dale makes. Krispy Kreme. Yes, thank you. All righty, absolutely. <laughs> so May wants to know, look at that. I'm busy reading comments and not looking at you. That's See how easy it is to get distracted when you're doing this stuff, um, to, to not be paying attention. That's why it'd be great to have a co-host here with me. And uh, and she could fill all that in. I wonder if she'd want to do that. I'll have to, give, I'll have to ask her that. We'll have to um, have to prompt her for that. Absolutely, we want to come to her birthday. May's going to be older. She's growing up. Like Zariah, same thing. And that's for sure. Yep, I was thinking about that. Dale's Tacos. Those are yummy, indeed. Uncle Dale knows how to make tacos. Absolutely. All right. Well, there you go. Um, okay, well, this is fun getting to share some of that and uh, doing this. I guess I've 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 lost that, huh? I, I definitely have to have the good vibe to uh, get going in this stuff and uh, and make that going. Oh, let's let's do this real quick. I'll I'll uh, do I want to bore people? Huh. Let's do this real quick. I want to show you how we can make it make a color change. Let's do. Let's do this. I'm going to go to the color page here. We're going to change some of this. We're going to make this crazy. We're going to darken this up, and we're going to change the color. I can grab this dirt here, and we're going to make it blue. Look at that. we got blue dirt. How about blue dirt? It almost looks like it's nighttime, right? Look at that. It's evening. We can make this be a night shot. Now, all of a sudden, we made a night, a video shot at night. Isn't that cool? So now you're flying around. The moon is out. Oh, yeah. The moon is out and it's dark. That's how fun that stuff can be. All kinds of stuff with that. All right. Very good. Well, um, I guess I shouldn't waste everybody's time even more, but this was an awful lot of fun. Thanks for letting me do this. Yeah, this was uh, this was enjoyable. I sure got to do it. Thanks for letting me share this with you guys. I sure appreciate that. And um, we'll have to do it again. I'm looking forward to the upcoming one on the RV channel. That's going to be a thousand subscribers pretty soon. This is kind of some of the practice for that. And then on my ham radio channel, I'm going to be getting close to a hundred subscribers, which is so cool. And uh, so I'm going to have a, I'll do something for each one of those. Haven't decided yet what. I have some ideas, but I haven't decided on the plan. But this is awfully fun. I like doing this because then you just get to do do some fun things. All righty. Um, well, there you go. I guess that's that's all I have. Uh, I appreciate you guys coming out again. This was fun sharing it. And um, I guess we'll call it an evening. Thanks for letting me uh, test with you. This was really fun. It helps me to learn 
what I'm doing better. So I'll leave the chat on for a little bit as I uh, segue out. So thanks again, and we'll talk to you guys real soon.